Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 has been delayed again. Please buy my novel, Cruel and Beautiful, instead. So, <laughs> once again, once again, we see another overhyped, overrated sequel to an overhyped, overrated game get delayed out of nowhere under suspicious circumstances. Like, how many major red flags have we seen regarding this title in the weeks and months leading up to this announcement? How many how many weird things have we heard? Like, even I, someone who knows nothing about Vampire the Masquerade, knew a little bit about, like, how fans were skeptical about how... Uh, how there was no way they were going to live up to the original and things like that. And um, lo and behold, here we are again, delayed and started again from scratch with a completely new development team. Uh, that doesn't bode well for this game uh, at all. It's going to completely, it's going to be another disaster. Uh, another CD Projekt Red situation, another, uh, another cyberpunk situation, another... Bioware and Mass Effect situation. It's just, it's just, when will you people learn? Like, that that's my big thing about this. Like, that's my big thing about Vampire the Masquerade, too. Like, I'm not angry at Paradox. I'm not angry at the devs. I'm not angry at the delay. I'm not angry at the... Uh, that's scrapping the entire game. I'm not angry at the writers. I'm not angry at the developers. I'm angry at those of you who actually dared, who actually had the audacity to get excited over this. Like, did you really think this game wasn't going to be bad? Did you really think that you were going to have something to play on your gaming PC in the year 2021? I don't think so. Um, we are at the we are now at the point where. You can't even get rehashed sequels of beloved old games anymore. Like, they, they take too long to make. They're going to delay them. They're going to fail to release them. They, they just... There's always something every single time. Unless you're a Nintendo fan, you're basically getting jack shit every console generation. Every every year, nothing really... Nothing great comes out on Steam. Like th there's a there's nothing left. Th there really not, there really is nothing else left other than pure the pure nostalgia of the early 2000s PC gaming. Like what what keeps you coming back? Like next to nothing. Like when you get right down to it, like all PC gamers do in this day and age is harass Nintendo fans on Twitter and that, to me, is pretty pathetic. 